I'm going to call the meeting to order on Monday, September 23rd, 2024 at like 6.02. Is it 6? 6.03. Uh, um, are there any adjustments to the select board agenda? Hearing none, we'll move on to the next item, which is to approve the minutes from the September 9th meeting. It's the board's pleasure. I make a motion that we approve them. <coughs> Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 We can take a of the folder there and we can change. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Give one copy to Lizzie. <laughs> okay. Then, you know, that one's just the first yeah. permission yeah. for us. So she'll have a little collection of paper. Oops, 923. All right, um, the next item is public comment, and it's for any items that are not on the agenda. So any folks who'd like to speak during public comment time, please state your name and make your comment. I'm with Alex. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They're all on the agenda. Fair enough. Um, sounds like there's nothing to be added. Um, we'll move on to... Uh, Robbins Town Clerk report. I have had the new lock put on the door at the office, so you will all have to stop in and get new keys. We will be open tomorrow night, 6 to 8, if that's convenient for you. And I did a deposit for Brandy today for just under $49,000. Wow. Yep. That's all the... Um, the taxes, taxes that have come in since she left? Yes. Whoa. Yep. Hmm. Great. And I mailed out four overseas ballots today for the election. Oh. Two went to Chile, two went to Canada. Chile. <laughs> okay. <Yep. laughs> and I got a message from Sid, the Cabot Road foreman. Their side of Judd Brook is going to be closed down for culvert repair. And it's right now, it's estimated from October 7th through the end of November. Wow. Yeah. Completely so shut the road down. Completely shut the road down. So that's from like the top of East Hill down to the other side? Is that where Judd no. Brook starts? No, it's no a Judd Brook doesn't it start down. until you go down yeah. past Thompson's. Yeah. Right, but yeah, but the same road. Just the right time time time. When you start yep. going down yeah. the hill there, yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So yep. that's from October. Through the he said around October seventh through the end of November. Wow. And I will have something put on front porch forum, and the website, and I am going to send letters to each one of the residents that live on that road to let them know that it's closed. Oh, so it is yeah. partly in Woodbury. No. No, it's oh, just no. that some of those residents up there go down into Need cabin and yeah. down through that way because it's quicker for yeah. them. Yeah. And then um, after Tom did the checks today, the checking account had left in at $15,256.66. And then I put in that 49000 So it should bring it back up to around 65000 so, can you catch me up on how Tom, like what, what Tom does for the town? I mean, I know he comes and he works in the office, but like... He's Brandy's assistant. He's Brandy's assistant. He's assistant. So he came in today, he did the payroll, and yep. he did whatever bills that we have there that need to be paid. Mm -hmm. And he does the bank reconciliations once yep. a month. Did he do that job before Brandy came Yes, on? he was the town clerk, I'm uh, yeah, town treasurer. Right, yeah. Okay, thought I recall that. Yeah. And then he went and moved. <laughs> so that's basically what I have for tonight. 
All right. Thank you, Robin. Mm -hmm. Mr. Marksani, um, internet technology update. You got your email, which was big sigh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you guys have any questions on what this email? <laughs> oh, gee, I read that email. I don't think I printed it out. I have one question. It's not about what you put in the email. It's about what I figured out that we don't have after I read your email. Okay. Hmm. Why don't we have fire alarm system in the town office? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Good question. We have. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have smoke alarms, but nothing that's connected to a monitoring system Correct. or mm -hmm. like like the school. If the school goes mm -hmm. off, there's a message that's sent to mm -hmm. someplace. Uh, it's a central mm -hmm. monitoring system. Yeah, the central garage, garage, monitoring system. And, yeah. and so does this building. Yeah. We have no working fire alarms in this building or the garage at this point. Right. And that's hopefully going to be fixed shortly. Did you hear back from Rusty on that? I know as of when you sent your email, you said you hadn't heard back from MEI, right? I did, and I have that bad news in front of me. Oh. You want to hear that now? Or? Sure. So to put the module in this fire alarm here, different monitoring company than the garage is uh, Module alarm is thirteen hundred ninety bucks, so twice what the garage is going to cost. Would you say thirteen hundred? Thirteen hundred ninety. I've got the quote here. And it just has to be a different different module because I don't I, know. I yeah. thought there was a fire alarm system here. There is oh, there. It doesn't work anymore it because we went to CB fiber. Oh, so okay. And but, to be able to call out over the fiber network, it needs a different module. Okay, all right. And well, and, and again, that's an oversight on basically everybody's part. We didn't know there was an alarm here that used the phone lines. And it has to use copper lines, otherwise you're going to put a module in it. Same thing with the garage. Hmm. The garage was about 700 bucks for the module, and this is 1390 bucks. Otherwise, we would have had to keep a separate phone line, right? So. Right, with consolidated. Yeah. Yeah. So in order for this to work, we need to have the module or keep a separate phone line that we pay every month. Well, you wouldn't keep a separate phone line. We'd have to get a brand new phone line because the library phone line, which is what it was on, was switched over and is what the library is using right now. Okay. Just, it, you know, it's, it's yeah. one of those things that slipped through the cracks. So the school fire alarm is still working because they didn't get that's, rid of their phone line. That's a completely different alarm system. Okay. Okay, than, than this one. So anyway, one of the things that we need to do tonight is I need you guys to tell me uh, to go ahead and tell, uh, what was the name of the company? I don't have my glasses on. Quick. MEI? MEI, to go ahead and go ahead and install that module. And that'll make this work. Mm -hmm. What would it take to get the town offices on a system like that? Somebody would have to decide whether it's needed or why. Yeah. Uh, it, somebody's going to have to, yeah, go out for uh, request bids. Yep. And then the question becomes, is where in heck would you install it down there? Get all your other new stuff installed yeah. first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Robin won't let me forget it. And I no, I'm just I'm wondering why. <clears throat> so well, it makes sense yeah, to have yeah. something similar there. I mean, it's a lot of expensive equipment in there. Yeah. The vault is safe, supposedly. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. So, but if, yeah. three things we have to do tonight, assuming everybody's in agreement with them. I need to get the contract for uh, RV Technology signed. That's an electronic signature, so you can just authorize me to sign it. I need to get the contract for the new scanner, copier, printer signed. Again, that's an electronic signature. You can guys can authorize me to do it. Uh, we should approve the... Uh, this quote for MEI, uh, the twelve hundred bucks. I went ahead and told the the other company for the garage to go ahead and do it, since it's basically a repair of the existing equipment. So is this, but since I had this, I thought I would bring it here. Once we do that, 
then we can get the ducks in a row uh, once that contract is signed for RB Technologies. RB Technologies will come in, tell us where to mount the equipment rack, tell me whether I need plywood, I'm going to guess we need that. Once we do that, that tells us where those internet cables have to come down in the basement and uh, we need to get the sheetrock up on there then, uh, hopefully by the end of October. So, the sheetrock by the end of October or the whole thing by the end of October? The sheetrock needs to be in there probably mid-October, so RV Technologies can mount that rack mm -hmm. so the wiring guy can do the uh, network wiring mm -hmm. uh, at the end of October when he's scheduled to come in. Does that make sense? And the plywood is a go, or are you still have? I don't know. I've got to okay. get an answer from RV Technologies, okay. and sometimes getting answers out of them is, mm -hmm. you know, less like part on them with phone calls. The interesting I thing, think, I, sorry, but, I think I volunteered to do that. Put that the plywood there. there. So if you <laughs> want to just let me know where and when, happy to do it. Okay. I also, I did mention it to Mike as part of his scope of work, oh. since he's going to be in there anyway. Great. And I believe he's going to be in there, like, next week or okay. soon. Have you talked mm -hmm. to him yet? No, I, I keep sending it to you, but um, <laughs> he did tell me he was getting very close mm -hmm. to being able to get there. So we would just need to know the location. The, the location would be easy, except there's heating vents there that we need to make sure the equipment... I, I don't know how far away from those vents the equipment has to be. Oh, sure, yeah. And that's, that's what they'll tell us. Yep. Mm -hmm. By the way, sort of along the lines, Lizzie, pull the door open on that cabinet. Oh. It's empty. Wow. Oh. There used to be a lot of stuff in there, right? It's all in the box behind you, and the school took a whole bunch of stuff out also. <laughs> so, you mm. close the door. Yeah. You didn't like it last time we saw the inside. How do you feel about it now? Is it, uh, you I feel were, a lot better about that's it. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll fill it up with some toys or something. <laughs> now that's got to come off the wall and there's got a, a rack that's got to be put on there also. Oh, okay. Huh. Uh, and that's the one that RB Technology stuff. So, Robin, you have checks that have to be signed for all this stuff, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And that file right there. So what is the next step? What do you want me to do here? Well, I guess, I guess it what requires some motion from the board to authorize you to sign those. And you were going to contracts. talk about the um, price increase since we approved whatever the, we approved. Uh, the RV Technologies contract went up by $5,000. I explained the reason for that in the note, and that's that when they gave us the preliminary contract, we had a detailed review meeting with them, then went down through it, and there was obviously some stuff that was missing, which is why you had the preliminary review. Mm -hmm. And then we re and they assumed that the town would buy stuff and have them install it. I said, no, no, that's not the way it's going to work. You guys are going to do all the purchasing. You guys are going to do all the installing. We don't want any surprises. You know, put everything in the, uh, in the contract. Mm -hmm. So that's why the contract went up from mm -hmm. approximately 15000 to 20000 And the other thing, I hopefully everybody caught it, was the glowing reviews that came from uh, Callus and uh, yeah, that was interesting. the other town. Uh, and there's one more town that she's supposed to get me. I haven't pushed her on that, but anyway, it was very, very possible. Can you give me that thick pile? So, Skip, that was a $20,000 roughly contract, and then there were also one time fees. 800 and some odd dollars one time fees. They went up oh. slightly. Okay. And that's because of the uh, additional equipment. Those are the, month, the monthly. Yes. It's going to be the monthly. Oh. I have. You want me to read those numbers, Robin? I'm uh, Diana? Um, no, no. I'd love to hear them if you don't mind. The, you're talking the cost number, right? Yeah. Here's one for you. So CV fiber is done. We talked about the fire alarm, the networking cabling for the clerk's office is $39.50. I guessed it maybe $4,000 to $6,000. Uh, 
since we have previously approved that, I told you to go ahead with that. Uh, the RV technologies went from 15, $16,000 to $20,800. The monthly charge went from $770 to $805. And then the copier. Top year. Well, if you can do this. Is the copier check supposed to be in here too? Yes. Okay, I'll have to keep looking. Um, regarding, oh, this is for the R for the garage fire alarm module. Yeah, I have to hand carry that over yeah. to that. Okay. I have it with me when they do this school. Okay. So um, I guess the first one would be. RB Technologies. Uh, here's the, I guess I'll make a motion that we approve this total uh, master. Uh, hardware network upgrades, master services agreement, hardware subtotal. It's the nine thousand dollars. Nine thousand eight hundred and seventy-eight. But that's the uh, that's only half of it, right? That's the hardware portion. The hardware okay. portion. The oh, okay. The rest of that, which is software and installation and setup charges, will be billed as they are incurred. Hopefully, that will happen between now and the end of the year. And that total will be the twenty thousand eight hundred. Right. Okay. And then the uh, and, and again, you know, this is this is like dealing with some of my friend Jello. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I told them to throw everything in there that they could think of we could run into, and she mm -hmm. said if we don't need stuff, it'll be it won't be built. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this does say hardware subtotal nine eight seven eight and network upgrades. Prerequisites to manage services subtotal ten thousand eight fifty um, for a total of twenty thousand eight hundred and fifty cents. And do you want to include in your motion, Diana, that you authorize Skip to sign? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll authorize Skip to sign the this contract, and we give him this check. I wish we had a copy of the check, though. Any discussion? Uh, yeah, you can show by the office in the morning and pick it up. What? The check. So I don't okay. need that check. That check gets mailed. Oh, okay. So yeah. I can make a copy of it. You can make a copy of it and you can email that to me and I'll email it to them. Oh, okay. So this doesn't have to be. Okay. All right. Hearing no more discussion. So this, does, wait, this doesn't need an electronic signature. No. The but, other one. The there. contract needs an electronic signature for RV Technologies. I have to send a copy of the check and electronically sign the contract. So maybe the, the important thing is that our motion is 
to approve, to authorize Skip to approve, sign the contract with RB Technologies. Then the check goes out as a matter of fact that we signed the contract. Okay. Right. So, so, would you like to amend that motion? Okay, I'll amend that motion. Let's see. Let's we authorize uh, Skip to sign the contract for RB Technologies, and we also. Uh, authorize issuance of the check uh, for $9,878 for hardware. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The motion passes unanimously. Thank you. <laughs> this, says, yeah. this says give skip, give check to skip. Oh, no, that's the other one. <clears throat> okay, so the next one is, so we'll just That'll go into the. No. Do you want that separate or in the pile? No, we need it right in the pile. Okay. Uh, this one is to authorize a payment of $643.12 to Seco Securities, Inc. for the um, installation. And equipment for the, the, the alarm module for the garage. The mm -hmm. clerks. Uh, oh. oh. Okay. For the module uh, to upgrade the alarm system for the town garage. Do we actually need a motion for that? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. We'll do it though. <laughs> yeah. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor of. Sending a check for the installation of the fire maintenance fire alarm module. Fire alarm module for the town garage. Please say aye. 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 That check on you. Okay. Motion passes. Okay. Um. And there's a third one, correct? Third one is the uh the copier. Copier. But we don't need to Approve. You don't need to check for this building, the 1200, or do you need the, the fire alarm? No, you just, just tell me to authorize me to go ahead and tell them the order that module to the library. Yeah, would you agree that we should order it? Um, yeah. Do we need a motion for that one? What's yeah. up? Do we need a motion for that one too? I don't think uh, so. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's under, it's, it doesn't have to go off an RFP and it's yeah. under. Maintenance, right? Yes. Yeah. So you do need a motion for the copier, though, Skip? Uh, I need to, you guys need to authorize me to sign the, uh, the contract for the copier. Thank you. You want me to I'm make a copy of you? Yeah, okay. do it. Sure. Do it. I'll make a motion to authorize Skip to sign for the copier, which will be a fee of $6,064, and then after that, $64 a month for maintenance. Any discussion? I can take right now. Wait, I, I can't find that in the, this pile. The yeah. copier check? Yeah. I didn't look through them. I was just taking it for granted that it was. Can you tell me the name of the copier company? It's a Kyocera copier and copier company. K-Y. Sarah. K-E-O-K-Y something. Office Systems of Vermont. Office Systems of Vermont or Visual Edge. I see. Yeah, I don't think that the check got cut for that. At least it's not in the readout. Copier lease cannon. No, 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 it's no that's not it. charge for the one yeah. you've got already. When do you need the check by? Uh, I have to have the check. I was supposed to send them a copy of the check. in an email, but I'll tell them that uh, it was authorized, but unfortunately the check wasn't cut. So we have to wait a two week cycle from that now, right? No. No. Not if it's authorized. I think that... No. Okay, so when Brandy comes back, she can do it. Yeah. Okay. I don't see it in the register. Sorry about that, Skip. Right. 
Okay. We'll get done. Okay, so we are going to authorize you to sign the contract for the copy. I mean, I'd like to make a motion that right. we authorize Skip to sign the contract for the copier. Right. And to give them the check as soon as it's available. <laughs> or keep it, give them a copy. Right. <laughs> I'm glad you're writing so all this, Michael. Mm, no more discussion. No. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 I have one more question. Is what kind of update do you want on progress with this, or is email update sufficient? Email's good for me. That's fine. Email? We want that to come to meeting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to take a valuable slide for time. <laughs> Heavens. Leave it up to you. Yeah, that'd be good to have updates. Once a month? Yeah. Progress should be going faster soon, right? Don't, don't roll your eyes at me, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I will update as necessary. How's that? Thank, you. Thank you. Whenever yeah. there's news, interesting news. <laughs> Thanks, Kit. Okay. Thank you very much. Anything else before we move on? I'm done. Mm -hmm. Thanks for all your work. You're welcome. Big break. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my God. He's volunteered over the last what, five or six years. Five or six years? <coughs> More? 2010, 2011, around there. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Time flies when you're having fun. Huh? Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Amazing. The next item on the agenda is the Billy Bridge Road status. And we have Alex Peltz, and I apologize if I forget Jim. you. Jim, um, here to speak to that. Yeah, thank you. Um, I think we've spoken with many of you about it, or at least raised it. It's Bailey Bridge Road on the class four side is in pretty rough repair. Um, First, I'm going to say you need to show some evidence that it's a class four. Okay. okay. Wait, is it class three? We didn't know it? It's not. I don't, uh, well, <laughs> Robin and I look, looked for some maps, and we can't find where that was ever a town road. It's a camp road. Mm, interesting. But did you bring those maps? I did. I thought mm -hmm. um, Alex would like to see them. Yeah. Not as much as I would. Yeah, they're... I had to photocopy them and paste them together. Oh. Yep. There they are. a couple of surveys that were done. Um, See, this one here is Survey 141. Yeah. If you ever need to come in and look at the. Ah, uh, interesting. Yep. So, it being a, a camp road, then the town has just no interest in it and no authority over it, I guess, right? If that's correct. Yeah. I mean, you know, you well, have, you're free to look for mm -hmm. other. You know, we've been going through this on some other sure, roads recently. <laughs> huh. Well, that's helpful. Um, well, yeah, I guess I would like to take a look at these. So this is on the file. I'm going to take a picture of that. You can um, have these out. Oh, wait, you can keep them? Yeah, you can have those. Great. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Maybe, Jim, you want to keep them? Oh, uh, I sure do. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, we're, we're starting to do some work on that road. It's pretty banged up. I thought it might be in, in the town's holdings and therefore wondering what how we could share some of those uh, responsibilities mm -hmm. to keep it upgraded especially mm -hmm. since well it's my situation is that um, I'm at the very end of Bailey Bridge where it splits right to the Greenwood or left the dock pond mm -hmm. and if you continue up the hill you go to the Sprague property which is on Greenwood. Sprague property? That's uh, S-P-R-A-G-U-E, Spray. That's the name of the owner? Of the name, that's the name of the owner? That's the name of the owner. Yeah. Keith and uh, Chelsea Spray, they live not there. They live somewhere in Brookfield. Yes. So Brookfield. this is beyond, oh. the, the, beyond the part that's currently plowed. Uh, Schilling, right. Schilling is at uh, 640. Okay. Uh, and then the road just goes <clears throat> mm. But I've been in there cleaning up uh, a lot of the brush, and what I discovered was for a road that's not even a class four, it's got drainage ditches on both sides that would be similar to that which is in the class three section, 
for this mm -hmm. non-existent class four. And there's also culverts. Mm -hmm. uh, I discovered three culverts that were put in by somebody mm -hmm. sometime. And I've owned the property since 89, and I've always used that road to go mm -hmm. down. And when I first bought the property, um, it seemed to me that the road before um, your dad and, and some of the other property owners up there, it was kind of like the same kind of condition. So it seems like somewhere over the years, um, the property itself kind of, not the property, but the road itself took on a turn. I don't well, know. Did, did, you have, did, did you ever hear the story of the big development that was going to go on there? Oh, yeah. I bought that property from Joseph Whitcomb. Okay, so he's the one did, for, who built a nice, really nice road way did. back. Yeah, he, he built that road. <clears throat> and that's why it was when uh, the other section was upgraded to class three. Mm -hmm. It was already, you know, wide enough and, you know. Well, he, he, so he must have put that road all the way down to our property and the Plouffe's property, which mm -hmm. was the owners of the, the camp before uh, uh, Debbie Goslin and Dennis Gallant bought it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I bought the property from Debbie and Dennis uh, in 2022 with the intention of upgrading it. And so we've taken the camp down mm -hmm. using the same footprint and we put up a two story on it. And um, I'm hoping to be living in it uh, at the end of 2025. Oh. And uh, there's a possibility, a very strong possibility, I was over with uh, Steve Bullock, who's another uh, property owner on the lake. He's on the, he gets in from the other side, right? He comes from in from County, County Road. Road to Pepper Drive. Yeah. And um, I've got access now to power off of his property so oh. I can actually power it mm. without having to bring the poles all the way down to uh, yeah. the end of the street mm. and then down the additional 300 yards mm. to the camp. So, um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of work and I'm getting quotes to upgrade the road to a level of three, mm. whatever that potentially could be. I don't know what, how, the, well, how the town looks at it. But if, if I was to bring it up, would the town adopt it, or if I, would I be on the outs? Um, want me to really? say what I know okay. about that? I'll take it. Anyway, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, um, the only time we upgrade a road from class four to class three is when there are several homes, year-round homes there. That's why we upgraded the section of... Uh, Up to 640. Uh, of up to right, right from uh, yeah. this this uh, state map shows 0.22 um, miles of uh, Town Highway 20 as a class three, and then 0 0.08 miles uh, class uh, class four, and that's and it doesn't show the part that was upgraded a few years ago to go all the way up to Schilling. Yeah, but to to uh, upgrade beyond that, you'd have to have you'd have to have it surveyed. You'd have to bring it up to either class three or class four state standards. And uh, then I don't know if we. I mean, that's a long could be a long road to have to plow in the winter. That's I mean for one or you know, I don't know. Yeah, it's uh, actually three point six tenths of a mile to the bottom. Three point six. Three point six tenths. Yeah. A mile to get to the bottom from where it's it's already a class three at shillings. Not talking three miles. You're talking three point three six. Le less than four tenths of a mile. Right. Less than a half mile. Three tenths of a mile. Three point six. Just like four tenths, which would be about a quarter point of a mile. Point six. Point three six. Uh -huh. From where it, it already uh -huh. is improved with the power lines that end at yeah. shillings uh -huh. and the Pelch property. Yeah. And then the next 3.6 tenths of a mile mm -hmm. is unimproved, which is what I'm, I'm starting to work on. I've already mm -hmm. been in there, and mm -hmm. <laughs> I unfortunately dumped a lot of a lot of gravel on it. And in July, the storm, mm. it's gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I mean, it was all down the bottom and over the sides, and it's like, you got to be kidding me. Yeah. So I did talk to uh, Mr. Larrabee. Uh, who I went on your website, he's the mm -hmm. road uh, foreman. Mm -hmm. And um, so I figured, I got to learn what's going on here. What can I do to make it ready mm -hmm. to move into in another year? That's what I, I hope to do. Yeah. See, the other problem I've got right now is that I'm even having a hard time getting tradesmen uh, to go down there to continue the work on it because the road got washed out at the bottom. So 
I already tried a Band-Aid. The Band-Aid washed mm -hmm. out, but it looks like I'm going to need to put another Band-Aid on it, which mm -hmm. is what I'm working towards. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I checked it out, too, and it was, I was kind of scared by the time I turned around. It felt like I had already gone two miles, but I don't think you I You out there? <laughs> oh! <laughs> in my Subaru. <laughs> That's what I drive, so yeah, we're in good shape. So, but yeah, but it, by the time I got to a place where I could turn around, there was kind of a little hole in the bushes, but I didn't keep going because it was scary. I'm not very brave. <laughs> Believe it or not, last year, a cement truck poured the foundation at our place. Ooh. And he drove it all the way down. I don't Ooh. know how he did. I had, to, uh, I had to open up the road and clear, get clearance above the top mm -hmm. of the canopy, but he, he, guys up here got big ones. <laughs> drive that big truck down here and then up our driveway it's like oh my lord mm -hmm. um so but i'm having a hard time getting tradesmen to just you know continue mm -hmm. to come in and just keep the place going mm -hmm. so and i know we're getting into the winter season real soon mm -hmm. and i've talked to my neighbors and they all want to see you know, uh, 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 do you have other neighbors that are building out there or what uh yeah sprague's already uh put, put something up there but it, it's a more of a camp it's going to be you know seasonal because mm -hmm. they live mm -hmm. in, in another town Sprague's had a little chair would like to build something down there. Hmm. Pardon me? Sprague's. Oh, okay. Yeah, they own a lot of land down there, more than I, I realized. Mm -hmm. um, that would not surprise me, but mm -hmm. I, I certainly have an interest in being Where's that uh, log cabin? That log house that burned? What, that yeah. Oh, that was uh, Heights, right? Is that the Heights? Hides. Right. Hines. Yeah. Hines. Is it Hines or Hines? No. Hines and a Hines. Hines are the people, uh, Aaron and Bailey were on the point of my property. And then the Hides, H-Y-D-E-S, they're from New Jersey, New Jersey Shore. Mm. And they, they've got the cabin. I think that was the one that, he told me yeah. that, that was the one that burned. And they rebuilt it. <laughs> yeah, they're not at the bottom. Their, their turn goes is further up the road. Mm. It's like only 1.2 times down the road. Mm -hmm. That's where that loop driveway goes, and then that's to your mom's property mm -hmm. too, right? On that other side? Yep. Right. Yep. So maybe I didn't even get that far. <laughs> oh, you coward in a Subaru? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, I know. I know. I was all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I am looking at doing, I'm doing some work. I've already done a lot of work. I'm doing mm -hmm. some more work, and um, I'll be looking at a, a, a general contractor. This has got to be improved. Mm -hmm. They already exist, but they've got saplings that are like four inches diameter, mm -hmm. 30 feet high. Mm -hmm. And I've been cutting them and chipping them and, mm -hmm. and getting that mm -hmm. process going. Plus the gravel that I, I, I donated to the Mr. St. Germain <laughs> around the corner from I where it all ended up in his driveway. Mm -hmm. you know? So, um, but it, it's a project that's in, in the goals. It's happening. You know? mm -hmm. I'm going to continue to work on it. And so have you talked with contractors about what it might cost? To Upgrade it yourself? Um, probably somewhere between ten and fifteen thousand yeah. mm -hmm. for for you know maybe a couple culverts mm -hmm. in the uh, a couple ditches mm -hmm. along both sides, uh, which I I'm taking the trees out mm -hmm. for whoever I hire. I'm, I'm going to have all of that prep work mm -hmm. done, mm -hmm. so that that takes the burden off of them. Mm -hmm. And um, but they need they need water bars mm -hmm. and they need I got two culverts that are completely. Filled in, and, and you hired who? Mark Batchelder? Chuck. Chuck. Yeah. Chuck. And he went in and he found another um, uh, right. culvert mm -hmm. and he opened that up. And I, I don't know what the results of this mm -hmm. would work or not, but he started at the very top, just beyond mm -hmm. the shillings, probably for about 100 yards. And he's, he's opened up some of the drainage there, but mm -hmm. that's, that's good, but it's not going to take care of hmm. the other, you know, three tenths of a mile. Are the other are there other landowners who want to share the cost with you? Um, yes, I've reached out to them, and mm -hmm. he, everyone said yes, but i got to figure out a formula. <laughs> if you only live at one tenth of a mile down, <laughs> what your share oh, yeah. of every bill is, no. versus the Sprague's and me, who are at the very bitter end, mm -hmm. and then the Heinz's who don't own anything but 75 yards on the spill of land, and they have a right of way to my property, let them our, our, our property, they can go down to their point, and, and they have a little, you know, campsite. And there could be people, I mean, that basically was a camp road. There could be people who have a camp who don't care about year-round oh, access. So. St. Germain, the one that's on the right where all my gravel ended up, he's out of Chickory Mass, and mm -hmm. that's where I grew up. Ron died. Oh, he did? Yeah, I don't know who took the property over from him. Oh, I yeah, understand. I don't know. The records, they didn't reflect that. I just went on the, what do you call it, Vermont 
Parcel View. Parcel View. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's where I got his name. So I guess I shouldn't send him a letter. You can try sending the <laughs> address and see what happens. Yeah, but I mean, other than that, uh, I have talked to the uh, the Hides. Um, I talked to Alex, um, and and everyone said, yeah, we'll chip in. But they don't know how much yet. We ha I have to figure that out. And I'm, <laughs> I'm not a mathematician by any stretch or an engineer. Oh. So it's like, you know, I mean, how much of this am I going to eat? And I might eat a big chunk of it. And then the, then the, the maintenance, yearly mm. maintenance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, you know, I, I mean, you're free to ask the town, but we don't have a strict written policy, but all I can do is say is what we've done in the past has mm. been to uh, only upgrade to class three when uh, there's more than one or two residences involved. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we went, I think this old, this map, I think probably went as far as maybe George Larrabee's place, mm -hmm. just past Peterville driveway. And since then, there's been, what, four more houses built? There's, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, four there's, houses. Yeah, yeah, up on, yeah four, permanent up, the, up on the hill there, right. And they're all year round. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, so it's on the Greenwood, is that what you're saying? We're talking about the top of Bailey Bridge Road, which, yeah. which previously was not even class three. Okay. They mm -hmm. didn't, you know, plow all the way up. Yep. Um, but once people started moving up there. All right. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like, do the upgrades to the road kind of come back and see where we're at, maybe, and have a conversation at that point? Well, I think... You have, you have to upgrade you, it anyways, you, if you want to right. build it. Gotta, that, that's what's got to happen. I mean, if you're so. thinking about trying to uh, get the town to upgrade it and take over maintenance at some point, then there's a lot more to do. Yeah, and I can't say that there's much hope that we would do that. Mm. But, um... Wouldn't there the, be a process for that, saying that like, yeah. if we were going to yeah. throw up a class four, yeah. there's got to be a yeah. process right. to add a class There four. is, yeah, you got to get the state to, you know, get a design, get it designed and surveyed, and get the state to uh, look at it and approve it and right. well, there's a whole legal procedure for the town too. Right. Yeah. To make it into a class four race. So the if I may uh, so I understand the process, I would have to see some kind of a permit from the state of Vermont and the town of Woodbury to do anything to this they, camp road? No. 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 You can repair it as a private road. Okay. You can do you what want. you want. Uh -huh. If you want to if you want to upgrade it to a class four or three, that's when the state gets involved. Okay. Because the state gives the town state aid and they want to know that their road that they're paying for is built correctly. Uh -huh. So Thank I think you. that's yeah. where the state comes involved. Okay, so it would be after I hire somebody to get started, or should I already have information ahead of time? If you want to really want to pursue this, the, yeah, the, the, I, I don't have a choice. I mean, no, I mean, if you really want to pursue the fact that this town might take it over someday, then yeah. you need to start with a surveyor and an engineer. But I, like I said, I can't hold out much hope that that will ever happen. We've got a lot of camp roads in town. And they're all private, and I can remember one case where Jerry Diamond, <laughs> I don't know if he, he used to be the Attorney General, <laughs> was over on Dog Pond, and he convinced the board at one time to take over a little piece of that road, but it was all flat, it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. But other than that, I don't know. Yes? Just. Go ahead, Skip. Just as a point of reference, mm -hmm. at Greenwood Lake, yeah. there's a whole bunch of private roads around there. And some of them have all year round homes. Some of them have all year round homes and camps. Some of them are just camps. Those people on those roads all get together and have agreements where they do the maintenance and upgrading of the road mm -hmm. you know, no, themselves. No. And that's probably the way you should proceed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Liz is trying to get it. Yeah, trying to get a word in. So I don't have experience with dealing with upgrading roads at all, but just kind of my own personal feelings are I would really hate to see you dumping in money to surveying it for that purpose mm -hmm. if that wasn't how it was going to end up. And, um, you know, I'm certainly open to discussing it at any time, but my, my immediate feelings on it are that it wouldn't really be fair to the taxpayers to 
make it a town road, which, you know, increases the cost to the whole town unless there's a significant benefit to the entire town. Um, so that's just kind of like my initial reaction to the idea. Um, I'm just throwing it out if it's helpful. I, I have something to add too, and, and Alfie can let me know if I make a mistake on this, but if you want to upgrade it to a class four road, there are state standards for what that is, and, and you would have to upgrade it so that they meet those state standards. Mm -hmm. And then the town would have to go through the legal procedure to make designate that as a town class four road. But that, but that wouldn't even give them any mm -hmm. winter plowing. No, it wouldn't, give, it wouldn't give them winter plowing if there are culverts on the road. Then the town, if it does designate it as a mm -hmm. class four road, then the town is responsible for the maintenance of those culverts and the road that goes over it or through it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. And then with the class three, there's more town responsibility for the maintenance, maintenance right. of it. So, um, and there are higher standards for what a class three road is. Um, so each step up is a little bit more of a commitment from the town to maintain the road. I don't even know if the state has a class four standard. No, they don't have a class three. It's like if, if I know, some, I've heard of a class four upgrading yeah. to a class three. Yeah. I've never heard of a private turning to class right. three. Right, no, I haven't either. I was always under the assumption you had to upgrade it to a class three in order for town to take it over. So yeah, you would. Yeah. 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 yeah, so yeah, upgrading to a class four really is Well, that's what happened at the road down yeah. to Nichols Dam. I mean, remember the debate we had about whether it was a class four road or a private road, and we've established that it's a class four road. Right. And so that is town property. What the class four road or trail designation is, is the town is saying that this road is town property. That's right. It may be going over somebody's property. Right. Um, that's that's a part of the whole, you know, kind of the legalese of, of the different classifications. Yeah. But okay. the Nichols Dam Road is still a class four. Yes. We don't maintain it in the winter. No. And we we don't. only do a little bit of maintenance. We maybe. don't do much maintenance yeah. at all. And unfortunately, there are no culverts on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because yeah, right at, at this point, um, uh, I know because when we were putting in uh, sliding doors in April, we had to camp after a snowstorm. There was like a four foot pile of snow and we couldn't get down the road. Ooh. So we had to huff it another three quarters of a mile by foot and drag them down. Oh my God. Oh, I bet that was awful. It was awful. Yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> awful. Adventure. <laughs> uh, I can tell you, it was, it was good exercise, though. So. Yeah. Um, also, I, 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 I talked to Mark Sassen today. He showed me uh, the road that was recently upgraded. Uh, that was a class four. That goes down to 14. It's an extension off of County Road. It's always, always been a class four. Yeah. He said it's a it, class four. it was only repaired. It wasn't upgraded. Oh, that massive work, though. Holy yeah, moly. Well, it, was, it was gone. Huh? It was gone I'll bet. after I'll last year's gone. flood. Yeah. No, I, I, I looked at that and go, holy moly, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but. Um, Mm -hmm. I got to keep the progress going because mm -hmm. I got too much invested. I got 19 acres and six tenths of an acre with a camp on it, and mm -hmm. I got to just try to bring it up to you know the grade. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to get to it. You mm -hmm. know? So that's the key. So I'll, I'll do the front end. I'll, I'll be working on the front end, but I'd probably um, uh, come back and speak to you when I get some more work done mm -hmm. and see where well, it's like, at. I, I agree with with uh, Lizzie that we don't want to lead you to spend a lot of work and engineering and and surveying and legal fees if there's really not much chance that we'll ever upgrade it so mm. that's, well, that's, that's what you're saying <laughs> yeah it's interesting i i assumed it was a class four but knowing knowing it's a it's just a camp road i mean that sort of changes the nature mm. of things i think in a mm. big way yeah yeah mm. yeah because obviously did some good work when it first was done yeah because it does have the culverts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. did have water bars Mm -hmm. And it's got ditches on both sides, mm -hmm. but over the years, it's mm -hmm. now filled in with saplings. Mm -hmm. And um, so, what does it show on your deed? Does it show it as like a shared right of way, or you know, your, like your property description? Does it describe the road and what the road is? You mean and and the town records I looked at today? Mm -hmm. Like your yeah, like your own property description. Does it say like your property is you know bisected or whatever? You have a legal right to go over that 
camp road to the end of your property? That's a good question. Yeah. But you know, I don't, know, like that. Well, that I don't know if you want it to. Yeah. So like mean, you mean, if you don't have it, that's an issue because people can stop you from going. Right. If somebody was going to develop it, he would have had to put all that together for each lot. Mm -hmm. Good point. And so mm -hmm. if somebody put that kind of money into that road, he yeah. would have made sure that each mm -hmm. lot had right to that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah it probably I would, check, I would check with mm -hmm. your deeds, look at your deeds, mm -hmm. and see what, it, what it's Yeah, I went to the books today, and it's voluminous, the amount of information on it. <laughs> Not from yeah. just my camp. Yeah, yeah. Okay. From when I bought the land, I didn't have a camp. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at Plus, and then I was looking at uh, Drapers, and I was looking at, I mean, just on and on and on and on, mm -hmm. going back over since the 60s. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where, you know. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It had to be that Everdale Ridge who put that in. Mm -hmm. I mean, they didn't mm -hmm. with the capital for that. Well, it might have gone, I mean, there might have been some kind of a more primitive road that went all the way down to the lake mm -hmm. shores on either mm -hmm. side, but he definitely upgraded it a lot. Somebody did. Yeah. 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 We can look in the folder for Everdale at the office, too. We have, yeah. Pardon me, Robin? Is it Everdale? Is Everdale, that Ridge, Ridge? Yeah. 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 We have a folder on them at the office. We can look through there and see <laughs> oh. what's in that. Okay. I think there's the old Act 250 application and all the things that went with it at the time. And he had big plans. There was going to be a marina. You could go from one lake to the other. And fortunately, that never happened. Iron Sky. Oh. Alright, then I'm going to want to look at that, Ron. Thank you for that information. I'm going to make a recommendation that possibly move, we move on to the yeah. next item. Thank you for coming. And no, I got to go back to the end again. All right. Oh, no. oh, oh, so there you go. Tonight. Thanks, Skip. I got four hours ahead of me. Oh, 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 man. Man. Okay. Late morning. Okay. Um, All right. I, I'm interested about this Woodbury Hardwood Great. Trail. Yeah. So I'm going to stop it for that. Great. So our next um, agenda item is website maintenance. Um, I assume that has referred to Skip Lindsay's decision to step back from that. And John yeah. Reed, I found out, is um, at least while Skip is on vacation um, in the short term, going to do some of that. Yeah, he has. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Uh, he has agreed to to do that. And Skip. I, I got the impression he didn't want to do it anymore. Right. Not just yeah. when he's on away for a couple of weeks. But, uh, I got the same impression. So um, I asked John, you know, to fill in because I know he's done it before. And, of course, he agreed. And I don't know how long term he agreed for. But mm -hmm. we'll see mm -hmm. how it goes. I might like to learn learn it myself. I don't know how. Did you mention hard something about it, Alex? I was just curious. I, I, I mean, So you would be another possible victim. Yeah, <laughs> I'm curious where the website. I mean, I know I'm getting into the conversation late here, but where if, you're not late. Okay, <laughs> I'm curious if there's been any conversation about you know up, upgrading the site. Um, I know it was donated by a gentleman in town. We, right? we did. did we, we hired him. You hired him. Okay. Ben Witt, W I T T E, and he uh, he still is our webmaster, and mm -hmm. he I you know I I think the I don't really like using it. Yeah. I don't like all the categories, and they don't make a lot of sense to me. Some of them, I've never asked him to do anything other than, you know, posting and changing a few things here and there. But yeah, what's the do? Do you either of you know, or any of you know, off the top of your head, like what the maintenance is for the site? Um, it's annually? I don't know. Is it five hundred dollars a year or something? It's not. It's not very it's not much. much. Yeah. It's not very much. That rings a bell in my. What? Five hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't remember how we how much we did uh, pay in, to begin with, but he he did live in Woodbury, and it wasn't. Oh, so you have experience maintaining websites? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's part of my it's part of my work, and I'm familiar with a lot of the different, not in in regard to sort of municipal websites, but. I mean, I think it feels like it's worthwhile. I mean, I know that with you know, what you've done with Skip, it's like you've already gone through a big sort of technology update. But it feels like the website is a place that people are referencing more and more. It feels like it's something that in the coming years might need a little upgrade and an investment to get put on, I would think, some sort of municipally focused um, software mm -hmm. um, that would be easy to maintain and have a little bit of back end support, a little bit like. Probably what the uh, you know IT vendor would provide. 
We got an we got an email from Ben this week, I think, asking you know if we would uh, you know just to spread the word that he's doing web design and stuff like that. And I, I'll send you a copy of that because he had some links there that he wanted mm. us to look at. But Alex um, made a beautiful website for the Northern Rivers Land Trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we built a site there. I mean, that was on Squarespace, which is a pretty common, mm -hmm. you know, platform. I think that for something like the town, I think it would be interesting to start to research what are the providers out there that, again, are doing mm -hmm. specifically like, you know, for example, the school district just upgraded mm -hmm. in the past couple of years to mm -hmm. a, you know, a school district-based platform. So it's really mm -hmm. tailored mm -hmm. to have the functionality mm -hmm that a school district might need, and I'm guessing that there are a lot of these. I think that I've looked at other towns in, Ver in our neighboring towns that have these kind of mm -hmm. platforms. Mm -hmm. um, so it's basically like a kind of plug and play. You get the design lifted mm -hmm. up and then populating the content and maintaining it is certainly a lift, um, but I think it would be a lot easier. It feels like it would be worthwhile to start looking into that. Mm -hmm. um, so there might be funding, uh, state or federal funding to Upgrade a, mm -hmm. a website. I could ask um, CVRPC mm -hmm. if they know mm -hmm. of any funding sources if you'd like. Please. Mm -hmm. Alex, are you bringing this up because you're interested in being involved in the process? <laughs> not really, but. <laughs> I'm mean, not curious about anything else. Yeah, John, I think, is a great person. I would be willing to like, sort of be part of a. Um, yes, I guess I would be willing to help with that because it feels like. It should happen, uh -huh. um, and I've worked with John a little bit, and he's he's great at this kind of stuff, you know, technology and yeah. web development. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think that this, we would be building the site. I'm not suggesting that we do this. I think mm -hmm. this is something that should be contracted out. Um, but having a point person would be helpful. I think mm -hmm. if John and I were on that, it would be, yeah, worthwhile. Wow. I'm trying to think. I, well, Skip Lindsay was the one who had, who convinced the town that we needed to have a website. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know how long ago it was. <laughs> it was a while ago. And I don't know if we, I don't think we did a formal bid. I think we decided, I think he looked at several other options and we decided to go with the local guy. Yeah. Um, Do you know what the site, when you get into update it. Where, where, where are you going? What is the software? Does anybody know what that WordPress? is? WordPress? It's WordPress. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a, mm -hmm. that's a pretty common one. It's mm -hmm. a good one, but mm -hmm. it's, um, it's not very user friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's open source, so there's no real uh, support. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, uh -huh. it's not proprietary, so you don't get mm -hmm. that built in mm -hmm. thing for what you're paying for. It's sort of mm -hmm. a, you got to do it yourself, and that's what Ben's doing. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, as you've experienced, there's a, there's a barrier there yeah. to making it really useful. And I find that, I think, I, I, this is very personally speaking, but I, I, I would like this, the site to be more functional and user-friendly, and um, I think that a lot of people would appreciate that as well. And, um, I've been on it several times. I agree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not bad, but it's just, yeah, I think it could be, I think it could be improved. Yeah. And most importantly, the, the use of it, the maintenance of it. Mm. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I don't know what the next step is from here. Um, but if we, I, I don't know what formally needs to happen, but if the um, select board wants to put a committee together and mm -hmm. John and I are on that, I think we could probably start by looking into seeing what some of those uh, vendors might be, and then mm -hmm. put together kind of a spec mm -hmm. list, and just starting to get some estimates would probably mm -hmm. be a good place to start. Um, probably be good to um, when Skip Lizzie is back mm -hmm. to find out what research he did when we yeah. decided to go the way they did, and because uh, I'm sure he looked at some of those uh, sites that those companies that are specifically. Yeah. Sending to towns. Because that was built 10 years ago or something? I bet it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was when Skip was on the select board. Mm -hmm. So we'll put that on maybe for 
next month's agenda or next meeting's agenda. Is he back next meeting? I can't remember how long. No, I'll come just back into the eleventh. All right. Okay. So two a month from now. Yeah. Yeah, we'll put it on the agenda for a month from now. Okay. Thanks, Alex. Say the yeah. first meeting might not be until after the eleventh because it's so fifth. I was going to say that the first will be a week from tomorrow. Yeah, so... so um, the 14th. Like October, yeah, the 15th. second, uh, the second uh, Monday in October is the 14th. Yeah, so Steve yeah. will be back. Yeah. Um, okay. Right. Anything else regarding that website maintenance discussion? Moving on. Mm -hmm. Um, are you Liz, updating us on the Woodbury Hardwick Rail Trail Board the organizational sure. meeting? I don't really have a lot to say, but we had our first meeting. Um, Robin and Diana were both there. Robin was kind enough to offer to come to the rest of the meetings and take notes or uh, do the minutes, um, which thank you. Yeah. Um, and we pretty much spent the meeting mostly just kind of organizing and hearing we got a lot of input from uh danny hale who has been really involved with the rail trail as a member of vasa um and we have another meeting coming up on the 17th of october mm -hmm. i think um and that is really all i have to report at this point all right was it what was the date again on that uh, October seventeenth. Seventeenth. I think that's the not, that's okay. the day that sticks that's in the, my head. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I have a question about the Hardwick Woodbury Rail Trail. Uh -huh. um, so the work that Woodbury has been doing on the rail trail um, is Hardwick contributing to that at all? I mean, it's is not on Hardwick. Yeah. So. So the fact that the damage happened in Woodbury makes it Woodbury's responsible. According to the lease, Woodbury is okay. responsible right. for it. I, I mean, Hardwick has a separate lease for their section. Okay. All right. So it's just our bad luck okay. that it happened in Woodbury. Yeah. So that, okay. Can I ask what, what section that is on Woodbury that that needed repair? Oh, it's no doubt about that kind of Cape Brook or something. Have you, like, have you seen no, those? No, it doesn't those even from Buck Lake to, it was almost to the town line. Buck Lake like Road. Our Buck Lake Road. Yeah. In mm -hmm. probably a mile and a half. Uh, you, and that's so, considered part of the rail trail? It is the rail trail. It's the rail trail. Okay. From, from Buck Lake Road down to the? Not Buck Lake Road. From, well, from Buck Lake Road, you turn um, almost an immediate left and you're on the rail trail. Right. The yeah. rail trail crosses Buck Lake Road. Yeah. So the rail trail continues. It no, starts up on us. Cabot Road. If you drive, no, I know. I guess I didn't realize that was. On your way into Harbor, Harbor, sometime if you drive real slow and look at the hillside yeah. on the other side of Cooper Brook, you can't miss the spot. Yeah, a huge landslide. It was amazing. Right. Last yeah. Year. yeah. Just as you turn, start into the S turns. Yeah. Look up. <clears> yeah, that's why it's hard to look. So, yeah. Alex, so I think you're probably thinking of the rail trail, like the one that crosses yeah. the state for biking and yeah. stuff. Yeah, I mm -hmm. don't know that they're related at all. This is yeah. the Woodbury, Woodbury Hardwick rail trail, oh, okay. which is an old railroad bed. Right. No, I'm very familiar with it. I guess I'm confused because I always thought that was. Yeah. 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 Um, so, That's same a name. Memorial rail trail. Yeah, they're like uh, not actually. They're not related, related at all. Yeah. That's owned uh, by yeah. the state. Memorial Rail Trail is owned by the state. It's right. Mm -hmm. by the state. Yeah, LBRT. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And one good. of the, one of the things that uh, the group talked about was nice, would be nice. So, I guess the Hardwick group is the Hardwick uh, representative is going to bring a couple more people to the next meeting. But they like to get a connection mm -hmm. between the end of our rail trail and Memorial Valley Rail Trail. Yeah. But. Uh, there was a lot of enthusiasm and ideas about, you know, things that could be done, that should be done, and, you know. Interesting. Thanks, Liz. Uh-huh. Any other questions regarding the rail trail? If not, moving on to the road commissioner's report, and then Poppy, you weren't here, but I assume that Robin told you that uh, Cabot's going to close Judge Brook Road. Yes. Yeah. 
figured I'd mention it. But as far as yours, that will affect probably some of our residents, but not so much as us as a road crew. They they called me and asked me if I could plow and sand as a trade for the beginning part of the year, uh, just down to where the roads closed, because otherwise they have to come all the way around to get that short yeah. stretch. Mm -hmm. So I told them that I'm happy to work something out, some sort of trade they can haul gravel for us or mm -hmm. something will make it fair. Uh, so how far do you think it would be? Uh, it was unclear to me as to where they were going to make a turnaround, okay. yeah. but they have to install a turnaround for trucks to mm -hmm. turn, and I'm assuming mm -hmm. it would be close to the culvert that they're yeah. working on. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So it's, if I were to guess, it's going to be under a mile. Oh, but I'm, I so. I'm not it's got to sure. gotta be more than one culvert, right, that they're working on? No, it's a big one. It's, it's a big a, one. It's one that's washed out every time it rains almost, it yeah. mm -hmm. washes up, and so they're, they're going little on this one. Is Drove down to see it's that it's packed that way. It's just more or less. He's married now. So, Road Crews finished one of the grants uh, on East Hill. Mm -hmm. That is done. There's two or three culverts we put in. Uh, and I didn't measure it, but it's a whole lot of ditching along the side of the road. It's all seated, stone lined, where needed. And that is done, and we've now started the remaining remainder of a grant from last year. It was on the county road, mm -hmm. and hoping to button that up. I want to say this week, but you said it was county road. County road. Yeah. Uh, but hearing some complaints about grading, I think I should probably put a little time into that. You know, so that takes from manpower from the grant projects. And mm. Does this grant need to be done by the end of the year? Is by that the end of September. September. End of September. This is pre this is coming. Yeah. yeah, we just gotta get that done. So now, Mike. So now, yeah. Michael has to do the paperwork. No, the reports need to be in by the end of the year. Oh, okay. So the actual work has to be done by yeah. September. Yeah. Okay. But we got some time for the paperwork. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will be. I'll have to talk with Michael as to what he need, what he needs from me as far as what form that information that you want that in. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, I would love to just keep on to that grant and get it done. Today, I did a bunch of uh, ditching and discovered that there's two collars that need to be replaced. Mm. Um, one of them is just the bottoms rotting right out of it. This is county road stuff? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, that's more than I anticipated, but I think we have to do it. I think, you know, if we want to call that section of the road done, we have to and does that fit into that portion of the grant work that you're doing? Yes. It does. Grant work. Yeah. 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 It's a good grant. Yeah, it's a large grant. It's a good size grant. Yeah. It's also a fairly large area that we're covering. Right. Yeah. Some so, of it was done last year, um, just before the flood happened last year. So uh, we can still get we can still get paid for that work. But this is the last week of the month, so you're trying to have to. Do that, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, I kind of have to speak to the board today do it, which is. And we can go, grading. go grading next week. But well, we've got. I mean, we've got two days of rain too. So uh, Wednesday and Thursday is supposed to rain. So those are days when you can do the work on I County can Road. I do on the grant. Yes. Okay. But so I you don't do I grading with the tree. Okay. Grade. All right. So. Uh, I, say, I think that's it's wise for us to just stay on to that. Uh, for sure. That Finish that, yeah. yeah. And uh, hopefully people will understand about the grades that are lack thereof. <laughs> but we are trying. We had to get these grants done mm -hmm. or forfeit the money. Mm -hmm. So it's there's a fair amount of money coming into the town coffers mm -hmm. by doing this grant work. So, Good. As well as building our infrastructure. Mm -hmm. you know, 
and you won't have it on your list for next year. <laughs> well, there'll be plenty more. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> That's right. These will be checked off for sure. Uh, um, mm -hmm. I also need to uh, work on the winter sand pile. Mm -hmm. I have not had a chance to do that. We, we put a couple days into it. Uh, mm. weeks ago, but we need that still mm -hmm. hanging over our heads. So when you send, presumably you finish that grant work, and then it sounds like you maybe put somebody on the grader. Yeah. The other guys then... The other two guys will be gone. All sand. Yes. Mm -hmm. So next week will be grading if the weather's right and work on the same clock. Yep. And then usually middle of October, I'm starting to put plows on and maintain the trucks and get things mm -hmm. together for, mm -hmm. for the next season. Well, yeah. yeah. Coming. So, mm. uh, yes, lots to do. Lots to do. Hey, that should be a town holiday. Plows on day. Plows on day. <laughs> <laughs> like well, unfortunately, it's more than one day, so you have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions on roads? Huh. Yeah, well, you got that email about the uh, East Hill Road complaint. I read that tonight. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I haven't read that email. Has that, how accurate is that? I mean, that seems unlikely that it hasn't been graded in two years. It is totally inaccurate. Okay. I mean, we spent a lot of time on East Hill, mm -hmm. yeah. a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And Keen Farm? Keen Farm, last summer we put a boatload of gravel onto it, yep. and resurfaced it, and certainly it was graded, and yep. it's been graded. Um, I, I feel badly for this, this guy's child that had an accident. That's awful. But I don't think we can take responsibility for that. Yeah. Well, and it sounds like you, before the end of the year, hopefully maybe that'll be graded oh, yeah, again. Absolutely. So I mean, we'll get up there. Uh, we want the roads graded before winter. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. once they freeze, you're not grading them. Right. So you mm -hmm. kind of live with those potholes the rest of the year or the rest mm -hmm. of the winter. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, we have incentive to grade all roads. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I mean, we have been grading when there's time, when time allows mm -hmm. and, and power allows. Um, but we just can't get them all. Can I, can I make a comment and just say that, like, hearing that, and of course everybody can come and hear that from you in a moment of time like this, but like hearing that is so helpful to know where the, you know, where the cruise time is going, mm -hmm. working on those grants. Mm -hmm. Obviously it's in your interest to get the, the, the roads graded for plowing season. I mean, that, of course, but if you say that, could that be something that goes out on the front, front porch forum? Like, Maybe you've done that in the past and I've missed it, but mm -hmm. feels like that is a is a helpful thing to hear, right? In anticipation of you know that stuff coming, because yeah, people are grumbling. Hey, whatever, people always grumble. Yeah, like, I mean we do use front porch forum if we're closing the road to change the culvert. Yeah. Uh, so that we right. be useful mm -hmm. for that. I mean, not, I know that's a lot to like, have to take on. It is. I, 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 and, I, and I actually think that that's that. The, t the town report, you know, what Alfie has just said this evening or right. yeah. other meeting, that's, it's in the yeah, I, mean, I, give a report. Yeah. I give a report every select board meeting. But the, you sure. don't help put the select board minutes on the phone. That's actually, board. no, we should. Oh, I thought they were. I guess we used to. They're, they're posted outside yeah. of the town office, they're okay. posted on the bulletin the board down by the post office, mm -hmm. and they're on the website. On yeah, the yeah. Website. I, I guess what I'm saying is that, like, from a at the point when you start to get a, a certain level of like chatter around a particular issue, it feels like there's a moment to mm. quell that by just having an extra something outside of the minutes. Right. Well, it's just, yeah, it's the right yeah, yeah, the minutes. Yeah, it's just... like, okay, we know that the roads are tough. This is yeah. here's the priority. It's almost like that seasonal shift thing. Right. Mm -hmm. I will say that I think that that should come from the select board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's ultimately our responsibility. Great. <laughs> and I think that's a really good suggestion, Alex. Yeah. yeah. And I actually think that I've heard that other towns do that to some extent. So yeah. it's probably something we should start doing. Right. Yeah, I, I, you I have to put another thing on your list, but no, yeah. I totally agree. I think I think people being understanding what we go through as a yeah. crew mm -hmm. uh, is helpful. Yeah. You know, 
-hmm. Because they're just seeing their road's not great. Right. Mm -hmm. Their road's not great. <laughs> their road's not great, you know what I mean? But we're grading somewhere out, so we're working on another, you know, and I try to spread ourselves out. We had somebody in here last meeting complaining about West Woodbury. Now West Woodbury's through Hardwick to get to it, and it's, you know, it takes a bit. And I'm um, not going to sit here and make excuses, but we had floods. We, we flooded last year, we flooded this year. Um, we've, had, we've done a lot of work just in repairs, yeah. let alone, uh, you know, regular maintenance. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. We've had some trucks breaking down. That's, that always throws, throws a pickle in the you know, mm -hmm. mix, and it's just, you've got to hustle around. Yeah. You've got to change plans accordingly. And that happens every morning when I show up for work, and I have one guy down. Or one of the guys called in sick, or one, you know, and so now I have to change plans. Yep. So it's a challenge, and uh, I'm not sitting here making excuses, but I, I, I appreciate you suggesting that we, you know, put that out to the public because it's important for them to know. Yeah. I think at a minimum, I think we should have be posting our minutes to the front porch forum. Get a little more engagement, maybe. Plug for the website. That would be a great kind of thing. Like if we had yeah. an ability to put outside of the front porch forum a notice up to just say, "Here's a quick seasonal update. We're all starting to make our you know fall transition. So is the road crew. Mm -hmm. You know, like right. finishing up summer things, getting ready for blah blah blah." blah, blah. Yeah, but that, yeah. that's just an, another task for somebody to do. If the road crew had a secretary. Uh, yeah. Or if the town had an administrative it's assistant, very, like a lot of towns do, they say to could post uh, the minutes on front porch form. No, I'm yeah. not talking about that. I'm talking about okay. an update of the road. Right. But yeah. minutes, well, minutes, minutes. But I think that that's yeah. again two weeks. If you just yeah. an update yeah. would be very simple. Mm -hmm. I would be right. happy to do that as the town highway administrative assistant. Mm -hmm. It would probably take me 20 minutes to type something out, if even that, mm -hmm. and post That'd be it. Good. That would be so, amazing. Yeah, I do think if if you're Okay, that it should be approved by the board before it goes out. Okay, yeah. well, okay. <laughs> I, well, yeah, somebody on the board could write it too. I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to spend five minutes on the phone with Alfie. <laughs> right. Or if you guys hear a lot of chatter and you could talk to Alfie about it and, and then put together a communication that you yeah. want. Mm -hmm. I'd be happy to work on it with you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Sure. Chris and Michael. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? You want to move on? Or? I think that's it. For All right. I put recovery officer report on here, but we don't really have, you know, Skip's not here. He did send us, he did send us a, a chart. The report. Mm -hmm. the Michael, you. <laughs> oh, he said he sent one to me also. Yeah. Snake duck. So I, do you want me to put some of that into the minutes or? Do you want to just say that it wasn't okay, As long as it was submitted to us, we should, Thank you. we should clip them to the minutes. Okay. Yeah. I, I could clip yeah. the whole Thank thing, you. or I could. Okay. It's, it would be just a cut and paste uh, thing. But, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, it would be nice to note that we did receive nine, ninety thousand and twenty-seven dollars. Okay. But all this other stuff about which projects are in what stage and you know, yeah, nobody needs to. I, I did consolidate that. that in the last minute, so because yeah. Skip gave me a copy okay. of that. So okay, I'll do what I kind of did last time. You can, I, and I, you guys may have different opinions, but we can also just attach these documents to the minutes uh, and make a yeah. note that, that you don't, you'd rather not have them out there? Mm -hmm. No. I mean, it's, it's not It's not that I wouldn't rather have them out there. It's just it makes it so much more bulky. This all has to go in the land records forever and ever. And um, it's... It nice. was very detailed. <laughs> yeah. It's very okay. detailed. Yeah. yeah. Which is great. <laughs> you know, these detailed these reports that skip... Yeah. Michael manages to get it down to a couple paragraphs, but skip usually twenty minutes or so. So All I'll right. that. Updates and other business. Um, I'm working with um, John Reed, hopefully to get 
the RFP on the website, and then the question I would have is um, to get it published in a newspaper. Do we or the announcement to get the announcement published in the newspaper? How do I go about that? I'll give that to um, Robin. Okay, I'll connect with you to do that. Okay. All right. And the next thing is to prove. Uh, bills and payroll orders, um, which we can do, which has already started to happen. Mm -hmm. um, we can kind of do the rest of those mm -hmm. at the end of the meeting. Yeah. Um, and we have, uh, last item is an executive session inviting um, the road commissioner uh, to the executive session. Mm -hmm. So we would need a motion to do that. I'd like to make a motion that we uh, enter an executive session. For personnel. Pursu pursuant to 1 VSA paragraph 313A3 to discuss. Um, uh, it's a personnel matter, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Labor relations, appointment, employment, or evaluation of a public officer or employee, blah, blah, blah. All right. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 And we are, we'll enter executive session.